Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 150 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castlemeister. So, Mr. Romeri Lacuna is breaking out of the God's Haze. Reaction shots! Man, that's big. So, could that be the weapon that Fia and them talked about in which Fuchsia was sealed? So, in the center of the God's Haze was that mountain and inside was this thing. Oh boy. Man, that is huge. How many times the size of the castle is it? It seems so scary. So as confusion and disorder spreads throughout the castle, well, Pariah starts acting under orders of the Dark Refiners. Well, if not under orders, at least enacting the will of. So, starting to pull his body into motion, he starts breaking off. off. He starts shaking off the remains of the God's Haze from himself. Oh, this could be bad. Why is the Beast Man guy the most calm character in this series? Whoops. In this series of exchanges. <laughs> well, anyway, that is clearly trying to get out from the inside of the mountain, isn't it? And what happens if it does? The castle was able to crush a city easily if that thing got out. <laughs> Infra's kingdom will be destroyed. Oh, really, that's too bad. Except for, you know, most influenced people are, well, the rulers. Okay, I was talking about how the rulers of the Influence Kingdom are a bunch of dicks, but I guess the people are pretty innocent, so I guess we can't wish this upon them. Anyway, this girl observes that the light spreading out from it is taking the form of wings. So the light it's giving off is taking shape. And it spreads these great wings. Ah, whatever. The higher it flies, the harder it falls, right? Oh man, this is the worst. So, it used to just be a emanation of power, those pillars of light. But they're taking the form of wings. Clever, clever. Well, if it was a weapon that was just walking along the ground, that would be a problem. But to think that it would have be able to fly, if it gets in the air, it'll run around swinging about that destructive power of a god. It'd be a calamity. This is bad. If it gets out, it'll be able to destroy without end. <laughs> Well, not just Influence Kingdom, but the whole world would be destroyed. We've got to stop it. If it, if it flees to the side, that, if it flees to the sky, that'll be the end. We'll have no way of stopping it. But how would we stop it from flying now? Yeah, we're pretty well boned, aren't we? So, 
So, this is truly the manifestation of the revenge of those people who started a rebellion. Pretty effective, if I do say so myself. And in front of that spectacle, tearing her throat with a scream is Fia. <laughs> you can't go, Father. And, even without its master, Guadalcuna Castle starts to move. I wonder how fast Guadalcuna Castle can run. Like, can he get to a trot, a canter, a gallop? Oh, a galloping castle, that would be hilarious. At this size. Anyway, the people on the castle can tell the castle's moving and it's not just the shaking that that other bigger thing is doing. What the hell is going on here? Well, this is the rumbling of the castle moving. But Fia isn't here. Who's moving the castle then? Well, nobody's got an answer right now, are they? In any case, the Guadalcuna Cows is heading towards that... Oh. oh crap, we're gonna smash into it! Everybody, brace yourselves! BAM! Well, this thing's more than twice the size of this Guadalcuna Castle, but it's still partially embedded in the mountain and now it's been piled around by the castle how about that everybody in the castle courtyard somehow manages to get through it and they get front row seats to it so the castle has stopped the, uh, has crashed into Fiusia's weapon in order to keep her from getting out. Oh, oh, I see. Our castle has stopped it. Again, the Beastman with relatively calm description of events. Well, the people kind of start cheering. And the castle just keeps holding it down. This is good. Oh, we've been saved by a hero's breath. Yes, with this we have a, an opportunity, a possibility. As long as it's stuck in the God's Haze somehow, as we intended, we can break it out of the we can break Pariah out of those magic stones. So everybody's watching. Fia, good job getting the castle to move like that. Thanks to you we were able to push the weapon down. No, no, it wasn't me. Yeah, if not you, then who? Uh, wait, but the castle did come and crash into Faraya here. Well, Fia didn't move it. Fia doesn't know how that it, it moved there. Really? Pariah was getting ready to take off and the castle moved. It, did the castle move on its own? To stop Pariah? Uh, 
調査にも伝わってたんだよ。Yeah, maybe it did. Maybe it got through to the castle. 私が、私たちが、お父様を救おうとしている気持ちが、調査を動かしたんだ。So our wish to save her father got through to the castle and the castle moved. Uh, well, if that's true, then I guess that's a kind of goddess's miracle. Well, as someone with mechanical knowledge, he doesn't want to believe that kind of thing, but as the apostle of a god, there's nothing else to believe here. So the prayers of people do give birth to miracles. And the castle that's been with us on our whole journey has, of its own accord, moved to prevent the worst outcome. Convenient then. Okay, it's good that the castle is keeping it down, but isn't this kind of dangerous? そこまででもないだろう。こうしていないとあれは外に出ちまうんだぜ。What do you mean? It's true that the castle swaying and like that was kind of dangerous, but it wasn't that bad. Come on, if that had gotten out, it would have been bad. Yeah, あっちの方を見てもらえるか。Uh, yeah. Well, look at that. So the big guy looks at what the little guy is pointing at. Over there is. So, out of the pariah's weapon, out of pariah's weapon, relatively small mechanical soldiers are dropping. They land on the ground and start headed for the castle. Uh, those mechanicals are going to attack us, don't you think, once they get here? And Navarro and the rest who were protecting us aren't in the castle right now. So this could be bad. Oh, again, with the this is bad, if this is good, this is bad, this is good. Oh, and something's flying. Great. So there's the one that dropped to the ones that dropped to the ground and attacked the castle on foot, and then they're flying. Mechanicals. Great. So, 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 how evil. Fire. Don't let a single one escape. So, following that order, the mini elves that were gathered in the courtyard let loose a countless quantity of magic arrows. Oh, am I saved? <laughs> yeah, we can't let little girls die around here. Again, saved by a hero's breath. It seems you are fine. That is more important than anything. This will be a battleground now. Please retire from it. Well, she was saved and she wipes the tears from her eyes. So, bringing this many soldiers along with you, what are you? Well, 
フィア様と力を合わせようと城塞へ赴いた。クルヴァンツ never did。Wait a minute。クルヴァンツ you're dead。I killed you。in my head。stay dead。damn it。anyway。now he introduces himself properly to the castle people。The Fuchsia Face High Priest Kudavans. In order to save Pariah, we have come here to join to join our power with Fias. Zengun, これより城塞を守護する。民に危機を抱かせることなく、最後まで守り通せ。All forces, we will now protect the castle, save the people from this crisis. And protect them to the end. Okay, great. So the soldiers, Kudan's commands, starts protecting the castle. Well, that's reassuring. Everybody's surprised, but that's reassuring. The high priest? For real? Why are you here? Okay, High Priest, I too want to save Fuchsia. Yeah, little kid, I want to also. Yeah, it always starts with the kids at this point, doesn't it? All right, receiving their requests. Kudvance replies with a, a smile. Kudvance smiling? Are you kidding? Let us pray together. That will give birth to a miracle. People. Offer up your thoughts, your prayers, your faith will save our God. Yay. Okay. So, with the echoing sound of a great horn, the Influence ar Royal Army hits the field. They're going to be around the feet of the castle, and they'll be fighting the mechanical soldiers that hit the ground. <laughs> to think that Paraya would be sealed inside of a weapon like this. Well, if this thing, kind of thing got out, the name of the Infrus Kingdom would fall. That we must prevent. But, Apostle of your God, Half-Elf, we haven't forgiven you for Gilsh's death. Or for the sin of infiltrating the Holy Land. So, destroy all the weapons that are acting to board the castle. And raise the flag of Fiusia. This is a holy war of the Influence Kingdom. Roar! Come on, get on with it. <sighs> okay, above the castle. Those dragons that can fly have formed a perimeter and started protect and hardened the protection of the castle. So the flying form weapons won't be able to get close anymore. Karmerg, it seems that the enemies have released a second wave. 
我らの見せ場を全て奪われてはかなわんむしろ敵が残っていたことに感謝するべきであろう If all of the, our opportunities to fight were stolen from us, it would be bothersome. We should be grateful to the enemies that they, there are enough remain for us to show off. <laughs> the sky is the territory of we, the dragons. Mid our battles are our. Forte. Everyone, show the pride of the dragon tribes. Roar again. Wait, who the fuck are you? <clears throat> oh, yes. Please do not forget about us, the subjugating flames. Yeah, this is one of Nixuana's angel mooks. ミクシュアナ隊長に遅れを取ってはなりませんマーズテリアの名を冠する限り我らは正義のために槍を振るブラブラブラオッケー We can't be late to for this when ミクシュアナ is here So Wearing マーズテリア's name is our crown we shall swing our swing our spears for justice グアラクーナ城塞を守ります神を封じる近畿の兵器を近畿から解き放つために So we are going to protect the castle too and we are going to save the god from the taboo weapon it is sealed in Great So everybody is gathering around the castle I mean everybody Well, this is amazing. Everybody we've made connections with are all joining forces with us. I'm moved. Now we can't lose either. So, Kalmukyo. Everyone from the Dragon Tribes, they've come. It seems that the Mazteria soldiers, her angels, have moved to contribute to the defense as well. Even though she hasn't given her orders, them orders, they acted on their own judgment. Hey. Afterwards, she'll have to submit a letter of apology to them. Did you catch that cute little giggle she had right here? Ah, yeah, well, anyway. <laughs> but to think, the Influs Royal, Royal Army that hated the castle so much has joined in battle as well. It seems that this whole incident, rega this whole uh, incident regarding Fuchsia, has been spread about, and this god that has become a taboo can be saved. So they're setting aside their hatred and cooperating towards that. <coughs> yes, but how can such a big military force be here? You know, this is kind of forbidden entry area and such. Well, we're the ones who broke the barrier over the holy grounds, and they followed us in. 
And now this happens with Pariah going berserk. Quite outside of expectations. Probably the fact that the army was headed in wasn't necessarily to help us. But now they're lending us their power, so yeah, that's reality. Roll with it. In any case, at this turn of fortune, Avaro can't help but smile. Perhaps Kudvans, who knew about everything, has managed to convince all of these forces to join hands. So everybody's come in order to protect the castle. Pretty impressive. And it's not just coup de vance. Even the people we fought on our journey, everyone we connected with has come to save us. Yeah, everybody's prayers are being conveyed. No, oh, so she gets to describe the prayers that she feels from them. They're amazingly warm and very reassuring. They want to save the god. And it's such a pure thoughts and wishes. Hmm. So, carrying everybody's wishes, let's do our best. So, we definitely have to save her father. Alright, let's go. This is the final battle. With all our power, let's release Pariah. Great. Great! Good. That took long enough. Alright, first we need to stop the emplacements around in the vicinity. The engineers, that would be Avaro and Deet, can do it. Alright, four places. One, two, three, four. Alright, let's do this flashy. Now, furthermore, since I prepared these release axes, anybody can use them in order to shut down the emplacements. So, this should be effective as we move forward. That was that thing that we crafted, but it didn't do anything immediately. So, it comes in in this battle. <laughs> Except I'm not going to use them. All right. With all of our power, let's get through this. Okay, before I go too far, here's the conditions for winning. Defeat Guadalacuna. No, Guadalacuna. Mr. Mary Lacuna. And losing. Base is taken, 99 turns. Fia or Avaro falling in battle. So we're not going to want those two on the front lines too much. Let's start with... Uh, move a little faster. Thank you, Rishu. Oh yes, the first time you move every one of your characters in this map, they get to say their piece on what's going on. So, in the long history between, well, her and Influence and everybody else under Fiyushi of Faith, 
Now at last they've come together again. Hmm. The gods really are great to be able to bring us together. Alright, soldiers. Move out. Together with me, we shall sing upon the heavens a beautiful song. So, offer up your prayers to the god and save him. This holy war we shall carve into the histories. Look, what I needed from you was to take control of this room. That was it. Huh. So, Father, he seems in so much pain. Finn understands. He really doesn't want to hurt anyone. But his body won't move as he wants it to. It'll be alright. Everybody's working together. All of these people are wishing for your recovery. Yeah, get well soon. So, to everybody, Fia gives her thanks and her love. And all of their warm feelings, he's, she is going to deliver to Paraya. Eel's going to be on the front lines for a while. Well, not in this first turn though, so don't need to worry about it. Say, Eel, we're doing something amazing here. It almost feels like we're in a fairy tale. Doing such a thing. Mikao never imagined it when she left her hometown. Well, Avaro is a hero. And the goddess is a goddess. Everybody's amazing here. But, we too are fighting in the same way. That's right. We, being here in the middle of it, are also helping you make this fairy tale. So, Mikio is so glad that she met Eel. Because it was the two of them, they've begun, been able to come this far and help out to save a god. She is so grateful for this. Yeah. After meeting Mikeu, they've come this far. And now they're saving God. Eel's really gra grateful for it as well. Well, at least those two get one together and I don't have to listen to too many of them. Huh. <sighs> To think of it, it's been a long journey. Leaving her hometown, crossing an ocean, and finally carrying on to Infra's kingdom. So, 
So after meeting many people, she's finally realized her purpose. And the key to that was the castle. And here she is, saving a god. She has the greatest gratitude for all of this. <laughs> she is happy. Finding a new lord and receiving new missions. Now she wields her sword to protect the people. This is a night's dream. Okay then. Don't tell me you want to say something too. Of course. Uh, this started out with a reunion with an old pupil. And it's turned into something really big, hasn't it? <laughs> My child after he's born. We're going to be telling him I'm one of the allies who saved a god. <laughs> I wonder if he'll even believe it. So, I'm about out of tobacco here. I'll roll some more. Nobody wants a tragedy, so... Let's return to you, you to your senses. I think that was supposed to be some kind of metaphor. Sorry, it went over my head. Hmm. Whoops. Of course. <laughs> Don't come any closer. I won't let you hurt my friends. Don't push yourself unreasonably. There's no need to try and stop all the enemies on your own, manipulating the earth like that, burning out all your energy. You're not fighting by yourself here. I'm going to be unreasonable. Back then, I wasn't able to do anything. Is that so? As a servant of the Spirit God, I do understand the regret of being un unable to fulfill your mission. I've met so many people like me, but more than anything fighting with you, I hold pride in it. So let's go. Let us save Pariah. Now it's important to get Karin hurt because when Karin is hurt, he gains superpowers. No, oh, no, nope, not yet. ワンアルジュ。およびとあれば。だ。この戦況面白くなってきたな。だ。ああ、this <笑> <laughs> 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 
Come on, don't just stand there smiling. Use those muscles you're so proud of and bash away these enemies that are approaching. Even if you don't tell me, that's what I'm gonna do. Leave everything to me, I'll burn them all to a crisp. You're not going to use your muscles? Ah, jeez. Fine then. Coordinate your attacks with me. Come on. Yuck, 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 yuck. Oh boy. So there's a pure amount of magic power gathering around Pariah. With that kind of regeneration ability, we can't fight him now. So let's stop up those four emplacements. Ah. No. The four emplacements are acting as support for him. So, as expected, we're going to have to stop them first. Yeah, Alvaro, just keep telling yourself that. Oh, this is the healing angel. And you and your reflection power can bite me. It should be dead, but it reflected one of the shots. But still, Ranarin has so much life absorption that even after that, she got back up to full life. Hmm. Oh, great. Offer yourself up for some smashing. I don't mind. Ha 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 ha, sucker. Ranged attack. Die. God, that's an annoying sound. Huh. Oh, jeez, ow, ow, ow. Oh, man, my knee's all out of place. Since that... Since that impact... <laughs> Looks like I've been clumsy. I'm like this, I can't do anything but pray for it. Are you alright? Don't push yourself too hard, Gramps. And so, we're absolutely going to come home safely. Leave everything to Katharito here, and wait behind. <laughs> you dumbass! Oh, you've gotten strong, haven't you? You don't sit around crying like you used to. It's so fortifying. So, Katharito, I'll have you carry my part in this. <laughs> ah, jeez, old guy. You're so stubborn. Hmm, <laughs> he is still out. Darkness sword. Not that. 
Hmm. Something so resistant to lightning that even Ranrin can't hurt it significantly. All right, everyone charge. Oh, except for you, Risha and Sandy. You're the home base guard. Wait. Undo, damn it. Jeez. Since I retreated with Pia, I can deploy Nikshuana. Hmm. <laughs> What's this guy weak against? Earth, holy, as it were. Okay, then. This will work. Oh, great. Oh. This powerful voice. My lord, why would you speak to such a lowly angel as myself? So, Masteria is speaking directly to Meek Shoana, and he says, Save my old friend Paraya, who fought in the Three Gods War with me. Yes, those respectful thoughts I've I received. <laughs> Mikshuana of the subjugating flames under the Temple of Mazteria. As a shield and so as the halberd of her master, with all her power, shall save this god. Now that's pretty impressive. Miles Terry has always been one of those distant gods. You never get direct answers, get direct uh, contact with in these games, but... Man, Meek Shoana has gotten up there. Okay, so I guess I can't kill him this turn. Shut up, you're stupid and you're ugly. And eel's too cute for you to hit. Uh, <laughs> didn't expect that to work. Ah, ah, sucker. Pro tip. Lightning elemental, attacking fire elemental is a bad idea. Oh, how about that? This is one of those uh, in bosses set on an emplacement. Let's see what it looks like. That's one of Asendria's attacks. It has a range of nine. Do we have to listen to someone at the beginning of every turn? Fine. So, the prayers of the believers in Fuchsia. And those of the people connected to the castle now shall 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 be delivered to Pariah. Piyasama no motsu tadashiki kokoro. Mina no totoki shinkoshin no naseru miwaza ka. Kore nara ba kiseki o okoseru ya mo shigeni. So. Nafia's good heart 
and everybody's respectful faith. Together, we may be able to create a miracle. Ruda. Irving. Mitteiruka. Omae tachi no musuko ga ima. Ware ra ga kami o osukui suru zo. Ruda. Irving. Are you watching? Your son is now about to save our god. Oh, right. I know that he needed to take the damage, but it also gave him paralysis. So, yeah, keep moving forward. If I could take control of this room by killing these three enemies, it would slow down pursuit a bit. And yeah, I've got too big of an army to push through all at once. Yeah. Mixon won't be able to defeat this by herself. It seems your usefulness has expired for the moment, Ranrin. Hmm. Who do I have that can smack this guy up? Uh, yeah, you'll do. Determination. A great skill. <laughs> Oh, great. Detail in particular is good against these guys. Oh, yes. Now remember, Risho and Sid is kind of weak against lightning, so let's equip the lightning boost accessory. And... Her best weapon at the moment also boosts her magic and physical defense. So that'll be enough, I think. Now, just a sec. Can you hit this guy? Not really effectively. Hey, maybe I should explain what I'm doing. You may have noticed I'm not actually headed towards those emplacements. Now the reason for this is something I'm going to explain in a few turns if I feel like it. Hey look, Mikshuan is fighting a skeleton. <laughs> hmm, this is bad. Well, this isn't bad though. I forget who's resistant to what elements. I mean, there's so many. But apparently, Kisner is resistant to lightning, which is good. So, all forces, don't let any harm fall to the civilians. As the influence of royal... Show the... Show the faith of the Infrusive Royal Army and destroy all of the enemies. Hmm. 
こうして憎しみを置き貴様らの尻拭いをしてやろうというのだぞ。Jeez, although you're under your own little goddess there. You guys are so unreliable. Are you in any place to insult us? We kicked your ass. <clears throat> anyway, now that this crisis is upon the ki whole kingdom, now we have to set aside our hatred and wipe your ass for you. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, you're stuck behind. Protecting the castle while we're fighting the actual god, and you're jealous. So, saving the kingdom from a crisis, huh? Gilsh. I would have liked to fight this holy war beside you. Wait, what? I thought early when, earlier when I met her that she might have had something for him. I didn't really think that I was right. But okay, fine. She totally had a thing for Gilsh. Not enough power. Maybe enough power? No, probably not. Oh yeah, she needs healing. Badly. Okay, now make sure I can pull it off. Jeez. What? This is new. That is a... Usually translated as Omni, but I think of it as the Talent. In any case, Talent Soul Fragment. Oh. All right, everybody, charge! It, okay, non elemental charge. Hmm, how troublesome. Oh. Keep moving, Rudin. Well, suck. Alright. Do your punching, Rudin. Even if it is kinda useless. Ouch. Hey, I needed this. Heal up. Heal. This could be bad. What happens if Eel dies? That would be bad. Anyway. Okay, remind me after this battle to check everybody and make sure they're healed up. Come on, that was the point where you needed to remind me. You people are useless. Alright, that'll do. Oh! Hey! Um, Dietelm is standing next to Eel, so he is taking this attack for him. For her. That's very good, because Eel... Well, if she gets hit too much, she dies. <laughs> oh man. Look at that. Does Kissner still have her holy sword equipped? Yes, yes she does. Oops. Not good enough. All right, so the enemies have made it to our home base. Man, I hope they don't kill Rishu. 
Look at that, she's down two hit points. At this rate, she'll only last like 60 turns. Oh, that was a pretty good hit. At this rate, she'll only last like 10 turns. Nope, three turns. She'll last three turns at that rate. Except that enemy already died. Well, I can heal her. Okay, it's important to keep this bitch out of range of Eel. Or, I guess, keep detail next to Eel. <laughs> Fiusha, if our prayers can help you, we'll offer up all we have. Uh, hey, shouldn't we be praying to Pariah instead of Fiusia? Well, to say it's just a different name is one thing. Ah, whatever, Fia will figure it out. <laughs> ah. Man, you guys have not dealt enough damage to Cowden yet. You know what, I'm gonna see if somebody else can deal more damage to Cowden here. Maybe you. Do some damage. Everybody here is a disappointment, I have to tell you that. Okay, now Eel is out of range of Detom's protection. Well, unless I get her back in range. Let's give it a shot. No, first things first. No, I don't know, just kill something around it. Oh, she's been paralyzed. Oops. Ignore those dipshits and get moving. Hmm, whatever. Actually, no. Instead of that, I'm going to shoot this guy in front of you. Now, she's been hit with paralysis. <sighs> Rudin, you need to be more effective at things. Basically everything. Stop sucking. Okay, Eel, can you take this enemy? Probably. It's deep in determination. No, these enemies don't have determination. So, Eel is protected. So that snake bitch is going to do that. Oops. He's going to do that range attack against Eel, I bet. It does a ton of damage to Eel, but Detail's right there, so Eel's safe. Hmm. Okay, fine, I'll heal her. Ha! 
See? Trying to attack Eel. Eel's totally weak against this and has low magic defense. But I planned ahead, ha! Huh? Paraya, please somehow calm yourself. So all this long time, I've heard that you've been suffering. If it will ease your suffering at least a little, I offer my prayers. All right, thanks, NPCs. Oh, interesting note. That angel attacked Eel and got herself charmed for her trouble. Ha! You know what? Forget Eel attacking this thing. Run in. Kill it. Bingo. Alright, everybody, forward. Oh, yeah, healing. Kaboom. She doesn't have really good magic attack, but it's something. Ha ha ha. Alright, here we go. You know, on the other hand, maybe all these enemies are headed here because they're... Risha and Celia is standing here. They see a unit, so they're here to attack the unit. But if I had sent Risha and Celia up north, they would have ignored my home base. Well, that's a possibility, but... I wouldn't want to bet on it because then, you know, I game over if I'm wrong. Haha, <laughs> a lightning elemental just attacked Yorin. It was nice knowing you. Hmm. If he doesn't get some combo hits or criticals, he's not going to kill it. Nuts. Oh, crap. This is the other one of those. Oh, hey. Thanks, Deathelm. I forgot about you. Hey, are you going to deal damage to Karin? No, you aren't. Come on, you need to do more damage to him. Remember superpowers? They'd be really helpful. <laughs> so, please, Pariah. I want to play with Fia again. And the kid, the, well, the male kid, doesn't want to see her cry. So, please, get better. Ignore them, ignore all of them, and move forward, everyone. Uh, except for you, Rishu. Oh, 
Oh yeah, maybe it's about time for me to explain myself. Nah. Anybody need healing? Need helm? Oh yeah, you guys are in range of Pariah now. Or more properly, it's Mr. Mary Raccooner. At least that's the name of the unit as presented before us. Mr. Mary Raccoon. Uh, two movements, area of effect attack, uh, range attack, and normal attack. Actually, he's not as impressive as you might think. As soon as I get a few characters in range, this is going to be a curb stomp. Oh man, has it really been over an hour? Haha! <laughs> Lightning Elemental charges up to someone with a fire attack. Hmm? Well, well. Uh, these are heirloom stone? A treasure box of heirloom stones? I wasn't expecting that. Look, you people aren't important. Stop trying to... Interesting. Okay, so Dethelm is taking this range attack for EL. But he can't actually attack it at this range. Nevertheless, he's attacking from EL's range. That's interesting. Interesting. Well, anyway. This is the final battle. We're going to break those magic stones sealing the god and put an end to that war from so long ago. Ah, Dethelm doesn't get to fight back. Ouch. See? Area of effect attack. I hate those so much. Man around in your crappy <laughs> rear guard. <laughs> Oh, there are too many of them. But we can't let the people be injured. We've got to keep fighting. Don't be pathetic, Influence Soldier. Take a lesson from us, the Raul Rosso. And show a gallant and show a gallant face as you protect them. <laughs> Hmm, of course then. We, the Influs Royal Soldiers, shall not lose to the Raul Rosals. Ah, oh, whatever. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> but to think that the Raul Rosal soldier would show his face again. Do you remember the scene where we saw that? That's a trick question, I know you don't. It wasn't that important of a scene, either. We just completed some mission or other. And it turns out the mission was for the Raw Rosos. That was way back when we got Avaro back from Rishu and Sally when she kidnapped him. He had his own, She had her own problems when um, Yoldrin here went crazy in Doshua Peak and she had to march off. Raul Rosa was in a pinch, so... And so on and so forth, you know. That's how it goes. Now, before we fight... Healing. This should be pretty good. See, total curb stomp. All he's got going for him is a ton of hit points. So we've knocked down about a quarter of 
the boss's life already. So somebody actually got through that whole room in one turn. Talk about stubborn pursuers. Oh, look at that. Yodin's out of spell points. <laughs> This is good. Look how little damage he does to detail. But overpower doesn't let him attack. Try it again, Detom. You suck, Detom. Anyway, the boss is down to 420-ish life. So, easy, right? To think that inside of this holy grounds that's been cut off for so long, our lions would end up fighting. But it is not bad. And now we once again reopen the holy war of long ago. We too are proud to fight alongside you, the elves. Let's work together and calm the pariah's heart. Oh, wait, wasn't he at 425 a little bit ago? That's right. As long as those four emplacements are up, he gets healed up to his full life at the beginning of every turn. Oh man, I don't think we'll be able to kill him in one turn. Well, maybe not in this turn. It'd be nice if Ranrin was in range. She can knock off about half his life. Oh, who was it that ran out of HSP? Oh yeah, I better take care to make sure that I get triple drops off of this guy. I mean, I'm skipping all the other enemies, but I want to do it just because it's the right thing to do, you know? Alright, Yorin. Yorin ran out of spell points. No, oh, he's just about into determination though, which is good. Alright, everybody's in place. I, it's possible that he'll attack twice and Deathelm will counter twice and we'll kill him. So, if so, well good.
All right, unimportant enemies, stop attacking. Uh. Yeah, well, just be grateful that I didn't decide to do this the regular way. That would have taken forever. Huh. If it happens again, he'll need a critical hit. Does Deedhelm ever get critical hits? Alright, three hit points. Let's see if it really does heal up to full. Is there anybody who won't? No, oh, here we go. These bad guys have some nasty traps. If it weren't me, they could. This couldn't be fixed up. Or this couldn't be disarmed. Jeez, why do I have to do something so bothersome? Hey, you there! Don't you have work you should be doing? The world's in danger, and I heard the world was in danger, so I'm working too. So go save that god, Guadakuna Company. This is the literal guy that kidnapped Mikeu, Fadi all in all, and uh, apparently got out from under Gaidal with that thousand gil, gifl donation we gave him. You know who I want to see again? The fat guy. He was hilarious. He could have been a running joke for the entire game, like screaming in terror, running, fleeing for his life, cowering, calling for help. I would have loved it. Mm. Huh. I guess today Karin doesn't get any superpowers to contribute. Mm. Let's start with the characters that cannot get triple drops. Oh, bite me, Pariah. Yeah, that's Pariah. Next up. What's best? Uh, you're pretty bad at this, Druden. But we're here, so let's put you to use. You know what I should have done? I should have had. What is wrong with you, Yorin? Oh, he can't move into this square. Um, hmm. So, he can't get in range. Huh. If I have to have another turn, I'll have uh, someone pull out and someone with more movement points pull out so that Yorin can do something useful. You know what, Yorin? Just, uh, I'll heal your ass. No, actually I won't. You're in determination. So, stand there looking stupid. See if I care. Yep. Hmm. If Ronrin's attack was ignored... That means a good deal of our power was lost this turn. Haha! <laughs> Eel, good girl. We love you. Oh. Fuck <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. How often does that activate? 20% of the time. And now it's activated on three of six attacks against it. <laughs> okay, whatever. I guess this won't be the turn. Boom. Hey, she got a kill. Okay, uh, healing time. You're getting a little bit hurt here. Heals a lot hurt. You're fine. Rounding. What, what is wrong with you? Oh, whatever. It seems like the boss's <laughs> SP is also... Shut the hell up. It seems like the boss's SP is also regenerating like his HP is. Well, that's fine. As long as Ronrin can get her hit in, we'll be able to defeat the boss next turn. Even if I have to cheat a little. Oh, Risha's out of spell points. <laughs> oh, pretty good. Hmm. Someone attacking from the rear. Hmm. No, Rishman said they won't be able to defeat this guy with this weapon. Still, not important. I beg your pardon? Oh. I thought it was a ranged attack, which it wasn't. Hmm? Uh, okay. How troublesome. It's a good thing I healed up Eel. I wasn't expecting that. She got caught in that area of effect attack. Alright. Recover spell points. Oh yes, first of all. Running! A good start. <laughs> Blah. Well, Connor isn't my best attacker until he gets some more kick to his powers. But still, let's take a look at whom I can waste that overpower on. I think if I attack with Rurin instead. Yeah, the overpower kicks in, and my next attack might hit. Oh 
Let's see. That was good. I think this is going to be it. Especially if Eol and or Deedhelm get double moves. Oh yes, this is going well. Okay, whoever has full TS right now... Let's put it on Kisner. Now my four characters in front can get triple drops. This is it, this is it, this is it! Come on! There we go! <laughs> Malwen Necklace. Six of them! That's awesome, that's even better than the Malwen Armlet. So... Oh man, am I over time. So, that's the final boss. I guess we'll see what everybody has to say in the conclusion next time. So, thanks for watching.